During the lockdown, we've been doing the e-sport racing with a small sim rig here at Cyan. And as we can't do anything in the real life, it's nice to be out and get the competition, get some adrenaline into your body. I have been practicing quite a lot during the lockdown because it's not used that we are at home for so long. But definitely it's a competition, we are competitors. So even if there was no lockdown, we would have found a way to spend as much time as possible on the sim to win this championship. We want to win everything. So this is our ring here. Uh, it's obviously different from real life, but some people that gets really good at this has been practicing, practicing a lot. So if they're not super good in real life, they can get fantastic good here and maybe get that experience back to the race track. For me, it's more about getting to know the tracks and preparing myself. You have guys like they are playing a lot, other guys that they are just using the sim as a tool to learn the tracks. Mikelitz, for example, is a guy that was promoted to real racing coming from simulator. So the guy is a pro sim racer, so his level is, is really high. The level of the competition was insane. Absolutely flown by oh. and flying off the circuit. You get some adrenaline, you get the fighting, but it's not really the same adrenaline as you're flying through the forest on the Nürburgring, for example, in 240 kilometers and so on. Oh, trouble! That's a huge crash! Johan Christophsen, our race two winner! So at Zion, this is the small single. We have one that's a little bit bigger. Let's go and check it out. As you can see, it's a full-size car on top of hydraulics, which tries to replicate the movements as in real life, as close as possible. So comparing this to the small sim rig is a completely different world. The simulator here has played a key role in these world titles that we have won, especially the first year, 2017, when we won the world title just for drivers and team. Some of the tracks was completely new for me, especially Macau, which is one of the most challenging tracks in the world. So I got to learn the track. So when I arrived, it felt like I'd been there before. Definitely one of the key areas for winning that year. It's nice to use the sim because there is no risk, so we can try things, but then we have to include the risk factor when we are in the real life. I never see someone that going out of the pit and say, uh, I did it in the sim like 50 times, don't worry, cold tires, I can, I can do Mandarin corner flat, that's impossible. You cannot use only the sim to prepare a weekend, that's for sure. But the sim is a tool that you can't avoid when you want to learn a track. And we use this simulator before every round of the championship to learn the track before going there. And to make sure that we are 100% ready and that's the main purpose of the sim. chance perhaps to cut back under for Jan Erleche. He picks up one more spot at the final lap of the race, the final lap of the weekend, the final lap of the season. And there's contact again. That could end up costing the title. We're here at Anderstorp, Scandinavian Raceway, testing a couple of new drivers, and one of them is going to be my new teammate. When you do a shootout like this, it's not necessary to say just the things that people want to hear. You have to be, to be honest and uh, saying the truth, because if you can get the trust from the team, it's already one step, and that's maybe the most important step. 